Hello, you guys. Kings and queens, I'm sorry. I'm Queen J, and this is Talks with Queen J. If you haven't already, please um, press the like button, subscribe, and press the little bell below to let you guys know when I post new videos. Now, with that being said, let's get into it. Okay, starting out the French Open this year, Serena Williams stepped out in a fitting cat suit, black lusciousness, showing off all her curvaceous curves, you know, her, her just, her superhero suit. And now the French Open Tennis Federation is cracking down on what can and cannot be worn on the court. There were a lot, they were not a fan of Serena's look and will be introducing a new dress code in the future. They quoted saying, they, uh, they said, I think sometimes we go too far. We must, we must respect the game and the place. Serena says she wore this cat suit, not only for health reasons, because ever since she had her baby, a couple months ago, she's been having blood clots nonstop. So not only is she wearing this cat suit for health reasons, she also referred to the movie Wakanda where she says she felt like a queen. She felt like a superhero. She just felt like she was invincible and could do anything in this cat suit. It made her feel very confident. Um, like I said, she just had a baby a couple months ago and... Now she's having blood clots and she wants to contain those blood clots while she's on the court. And now they want to crack down on her and say, oh, this isn't what we should be wearing. We have to respect the game. Serena respects the game. If anybody respects the game, it's Serena and her sister Venus. But it's Serena. Like, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Now... In August, Serena spoke out about how often she gets drug tested. On average, it's more than her fellow female and male tennis players. So not only are y'all trying to come down on me about my cat suit, my superhero suit, my Wakanda queen suit, y'all want to drug test me, the black woman, more than y'all drug test anybody else because y'all want to try to catch me slipping. Y'all are never going to catch her slipping. When are y'all going to learn that? Y'all don't think she's learned by now that you guys are trying to come after her, that you guys are just mad because one of us dominated y'all's uh, tennis foundation? I'm sorry that we dominate in almost every sport. I'm sorry that we came and dominated tennis. That used to be y'all thing, but I'm sorry. It's just not. And it won't be until y'all get Serena and Venus out. And it don't look like Serena is going anywhere anytime soon. So sorry, not sorry. Now, Serena was drug tested five times already in 2018. Five times already. In 2017, she got drug tested three times. And in 2016, she got drug tested six times. Y'all are not going to catch her slipping. She is a stallion. This is how she was born, bred, built. This is not, uh, what is it called? Steroids. This is not nothing extra but hard work and dedication. Like, why can't y'all just understand that and not be mad? She can't help that. She's great. <sighs> Anywho. The found the Tennis Foundation received backlash for the policy, for the policy changes, the blood clots. Nike said, quote, because this was a Nike inspired. Well, you know, Serena is like a spokesperson for Nike too, sportswear. So I guess they made her bodysuit. And Nike was quoted saying, you could take the superhero out of her costume, but you can never take away her superpowers. Uh, in other words, you could take Serena out of the cat suit, but she's still going to whoop y'all ass. <laughs> now, um, I don't know if y'all have ever heard of Billie Jean King. She's a very famous tennis play, uh, 
female tennis player, and she was quoted saying, the policy of women's bodies, the policing of women's bodies must end. The res she deserves the respect that is needed for her exceptional talent and what she brings to the game, not criticizing what she wears to work. That's where the disrespect lies. And I couldn't have said it better myself. You guys are over here criticizing Serena for wearing this cat suit. Because she's still whooping y'all in the cat suit. No matter what she wears, she's going to whoop y'all. Y'all are criticizing her for this. But she's still going to beat y'all. Like y'all aren't saying, oh my gosh, she's wonderful. She's this, she's that. Y'all are finding any, y'all are trying to find any inkling to put this black woman down. To lower y'all, her to lower herself to y'all uh, pettiness, and she won't do it. And when Serena was asked about the controversy, she just downplayed it. She always downplays it. She never, um, you know, gets all rowdy or anything because she knows herself. She doesn't need to get mad. She doesn't need to put on a show for people and for herself to know that she's doing the right thing. She knows she's doing the right thing because she continues to win. She continues to work hard and she continues to do what she has to do to be the one of the most highest paid female athletes in the game. And they're mad. But shout out to Serena Williams. Shout out to Venus Williams. We love you guys. We're rooting for you guys. Thank you for dominating tennis for so long we are behind you we ride for you we love you queen keep doing your thing love you guys